Grinder School, Colossus here, and today I'm playing, well, let's forget about the introduction and immediately jump into the action. Here, I'm gonna call uh, the tree bet uh, from uh, the uh, big blind here. One, because I've seen him done it before, I've played like for 20 hands, and it's like, I've, uh, he, he's done this before, uh, tree betting. Uh, my button open, so now I have ace queen. I will call. I'm gonna call here again. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, that he is just uh, c betting there with air uh, a lot of the time. Uh, I'm gonna blah blah. He checked it to me. I'm just gonna bet here. Uh, kind of weird that he checks it to me though. Uh, if we get raised here, we definitely uh, uh, are falling with the pocket fives. But uh, I don't want to give a free card either if he does decide to fault. And he definitely has got some uh, some pocket pair, probably better than my fives. Uh, I'm just gonna keep on calling here. Uh, oh no, let's just uh, put him in. Unfortunately, he does fault. I wanted to put him in because there's a little bit. He was betting so small. Um, he was giving himself uh, actually good odds to draw for um, the straight or um, the flush. And here I expect to get beat by. Oh no, he actually. That's nice. Let's make a note. Uh, <coughs> Ace Jack on uh, Queen Queen for flop. Okay, so interesting. Uh, you could make an argument here uh, for uh, calling again, uh, but I was quite surprised that he uh, double barreled actually on uh, the turn, um, making me think uh, that he has something, and uh, I was quite surprised that he actually laid it down. Uh, Ace 8 suited, I'm going to raise, and 9 5 suited, I'm going to fold. I did double up uh, previously already on table number 3 versus uh, the Bart Simpson guy uh, on my right one. He hit top, top kicker, uh, I hit my flush. Uh, Ace 8 here, I'm just going to fold uh, because of the domination issues. Uh, 6 king offsuit on table number 3, easy fold. Actually, today I'm not, uh, I don't plan. Uh, to talk a lot about uh, pre-flop play. I actually, I want to talk a bit, little bit more about post-flop play. Uh, it's Sunday night in the United States and Monday morning here in Europe. So there are a lot of tight people around. You can see the numbers. Um, there are obviously also some uh, bad people around, like uh, this Kanga45 is playing 32-0. So, and he's on my right side. So. Uh, his half stack will soon be uh, ours, I hope. Uh, but mainly we have uh, probably some uh, regulars uh, at our table, so it's gonna be interesting uh, to see uh, what we can do against them. Um, we've got Queen Jack here and a button raise. The guy is super tight, uh, 9 uh, 9. Uh, I'm just gonna fold for now. Um, I or I, uh, my image on this table is going to be really. I'm playing 35-30, so. And here I'm going to uh, three bet the pocket fours. See bet uh, on table number two, the double pair board, so doesn't see bet. Four X cut off. You don't see this four X uh, falls to three bet. I'm gonna fold here, fold there, obviously. I'm just gonna let him stew a bit. And here, this guy is opening so wide. I'm gonna call here with my ace 10 off suit uh, and expect to be way ahead of his range. Um, we don't hit, and 
we are gonna fold here 17-5 guy uh, is never ever uh, bluffing there uh, you of your hand uh, these guys with like uh, low uh, pre-flop race but and here we're gonna make an <clears throat> Unfortunately, he does make the fault here. And <laughs> we got kings back to back, so this is nice. Obviously, we are uh, going to raise it again. The guy here on, on table number three is going to be interesting. He's opening a lot and he's stealing my buttons. Um, uh, it's about time we are going to play back at him. He's on our right, so that's uh, which is good. Uh, A10 uh, suited here. We have the button, and the guy is uh, pretty donkey, so I'm gonna call here in position. I'm quite surprised nobody here uh, called me when I again with the kings. Um, it's like the third time in a row that I three better there. I've obviously, we are betting our top pair uh, on table number one. So as you can see, most of the guys are pretty super tight. Um, we are going to ISO raise on table number one, the dunk with 9, 10 half suits. And we're going to fold against the big three bet uh, with our king queen off from a super nit. I actually have 200 hands on him. And he's 13, 10. We are C betting here. Um, Uh, and that's about uh, uh, worst card that could come off, of course. Um, just gonna check it down now. And we have to fold to this river bed. I'm gonna keep playing my standard game, just uh, ISO raising weak players, um, trying to play all my hands in position as much as possible. And here we have Jack Tan uh, Sus. <coughs> the guy is opening up again. Um, I did three bet him before already. Uh, I'm gonna call him now. I don't expect this guy uh, on the button uh, to come along uh, very often. Uh, when he's playing 13-10, so I'm gonna have position in the hand, which makes it more uh, more likely that I'm going to call. If this guy would l be like uh, like a loser guy, I might uh, three bet more often. I'm just gonna bet here 125 to two people, giving myself some nice odds to draw to the flush. I this I just I do see quite a lot of three betting actually again on table number four that we have uh, like somebody with three stars which probably means that he plays a lot. <coughs> here the pocket eights I'm going to three bet here. Uh, kind of smallish. Uh, he didn't raise big, so I'm assuming that he's just uh, yeah full of uh, full of it. Um, once he calls here, uh, I am going to check behind. Uh, the tree is not a good barreling card. Nothing changed actually. Uh, so I'm just gonna check and hope uh, to hit. We don't. But we 
we've got to see uh, two cards uh, pretty cheaply. He bets 215 to 462, which is uh, which looks to me like a small value bet here. And we got pocket jacks. Unfortunately, the guy doesn't open now because I'm willing to three bet my pocket jacks and get it all in against him. Uh, King Jack offsuit. I don't mind a fold here on table number one. I'm going to raise it up just because everybody is playing uh, quite needy. Um, the King Eight offsuit. Uh, the guy is really. I'm just gonna call here. Uh, he's making it really cheap for me uh, to play my hand in position. We do flop uh, top pair. So. <coughs> As you can see, when playing hands in position, you have so much more options. Uh, it's gonna make your poker life so much easier. Uh, Deuce Queen uh, is a little bit too weak uh, to be calling there. I can also see that we have some of the same people at our tables, so most likely they are all uh, pretty, uh, pretty decent players. Uh, six, seven. Uh, this guy uh, makes it again. Uh, it's getting quite annoying. I'm gonna three bet him again uh, just to get some, uh, just to get uh, on his bad side. Uh, And he does make the fold again, so he does fold uh, to three bets. Now, next time I do it, uh, I will have a strong hand. I'm not going to three bet him again with something uh, speculative. Uh, three seven suited just because uh, the guy in the small blind is quite needy. <laughs> just as I say this, uh, we get three bets, but we have an easy fold with uh, three seven suited. And here uh, we flop an open ender, definitely uh, c-bending. The guy is pretty tight. Um, again, we're going to take our free card here. The jack is not a, a, a good barreling card at all. And we do get there. Um, it's still against the guy who's 13-10. Uh, imagine that if I... Uh, <coughs> Now the question is, and this is something, I'm, I'm going to raise it a smallish here, uh, making still call, but if he comes over the top here uh, against me, uh, we are going to fold our uh, straight. And I'm uh, serious. Uh, I know it's difficult to raise a river and then fold to uh, a shove, but a 13-10 guy, the only hand he's going to show up with is like ace-jack, king-jack. Uh, like hands at beaters and this is something really important I still want to get value from my open ender because I'm not representing really a lot uh, by when I checked uh, the turn but <coughs> there is some value as you can see still called uh, with top pair there there is some value to be had there and calling there is a little bit too weak but getting it in there against the 1310 is going to be uh, too, uh, how do I say, uh, too stupid. Well, it's not going to be plus EV. Uh, again, the guy uh, here on table number two is stealing from me. Uh, I'm going to call him again. Uh, doesn't seem uh, to be playing really well, and I'm flopping really good, so Let's see better. And we keep playing uh, our hands in position.
position uh, unfortunately here we do get called um, Jack does the only way I'm gonna win this hand is by c betting here uh, which I'm going to do the guy seems uh, pretty tight so here again we have our jacks uh, just gonna check this behind and he, the guy over pets the pot like uh, more than I know this guy does. Uh, I haven't. I made some note on him before the video started, uh, and he does make some weird side bet. But this is just uh, too big. I'm not gonna play like a, a really big pot this deep with uh, like second pair. So we're just gonna fold there. Uh, this guy uh, makes a huge. Uh, I'm just gonna get it in here. My image is quite loose, I guess. So I expect to get called by Wars, but no. It's funny how these guys uh, play like 12 of 12, then they suddenly decide to 3 bet, and then it's 2 fold to a shove. So, I mean, I've, I've the only hand they were willing to get it in with is like aces, or I guess. Look at eight, uh, we're going to set mine against the guy we are deep with. And King Ten, I'm going to raise off suit, it's uh, five handed. Again, this guy is the same guy from uh, on table number four, he's trying to steal my uh, blind again. Uh, it hasn't been really successful yet, and I mean, he doesn't check. I mean, if he falls here again, he's wow, I don't know what this guy is doing, but he's just giving me his money. We do get called here. He's calling me here uh, with like ace highs, decent ace highs, um, worse pocket pairs, and uh, stuff like this. Uh, I'm gonna bet here. If I do get raised here, uh, it's going to suck. Uh, and here we missed, but we've gained some extra equity with our king. Um, I am going to check this behind. This is the first time that he actually called, and we get there. He makes it 250, and again, um, he didn't really think about it. The question is, can we raise here for value? I guess we can uh, with our image. Uh, I'm going to raise, and I'm going to fall to a shove definitely. And we have the same hand, unfortunately. Uh, pocket times I'm going to fold here. Um, and we get 3 bet with my pocket nines against the guy who 3 bets quite frequently. Uh, we are not, we are only 100 big blinds deep. I'm going to be out of position. Uh, I'm just gonna fold it here. Actually, I'm just gonna call him with 7-9 suited. We keep flopping top pair against him, which is nice. Uh, he keeps falling to sea beds normally, so. Well, not to sea beds, too. He just raises, checks, and folds, which. Uh, it's fine uh, by me. Jack Queen suited. Uh, I'm not gonna play it uh, out of position against an under the gun race. Um, as you can see, I only play hands in position or mainly in position. Uh, 
least 10 of suits we are raising. I this hero to sky is on. Let's go check his 3 bet. 5% only. Uh, I thought it was going to move more. I've seen him 3 bet now quite often. There's hero to sky here on table number 1. He's also on table number 2. He's also on table number 3. Uh, I'm finally going to 3 bet uh, this uh, guy here uh, with uh, the pocket 9s. Called in interesting. Um, we get called by two people, which is really weird. Uh, especially the over call by the hero to sky uh, looks pretty strong to me. And now he bets four. I think. Well, I don't think. Uh, I'm pretty sure that my top pair top kicker is not so good there anymore. Uh, and I'm actually going to fold um, here because he's really blowing the pot. Uh, we are deep, and I'm not going to play. Oh man, I made a mistake here by uh, because I was talking about uh, these other hands. And I know this seems really, really needy, but his overcall there, and then his bet, his dog bet on the t on the. On the turn there uh, is really strong. Uh, it looks like me. He wants to pump money into this pot. Uh, although I expect. <laughs> really weird because I'm actually putting him on a really strong hand, like at least jacks plus tens, eights. I mean, I don't see many trees in his range it's possible of course but I mean my top pair top kicker I'm not gonna play like a huge pot there uh, with top pair top kicker against the guy who overcalled on the flop and then dunks into two people really strong um, on the turn when the pair so I decided to be on the safe side there, and this guy is stealing again uh, from me. Um, I'm gonna call him. I'm not gonna three bet him just because I three bet him before. I'm just gonna play my hand in position. Uh, he checks it to me. I'm gonna bet it again. This guy. Uh, I'm in position seven eight suited. I'm just gonna call. Uh, he checks so many flops and he's going to... I'm not going to 3-bet him again anymore if he's going to play this bad post-flop. Uh, I'm just going to call and bet the flop and take it down. Unfortunately, we've got somebody who really picked up a hand. Uh, Makes it a really big uh, squeeze. Here again on table number 3, if this guy would have raised, I would have called again with 8-10 uh, uh, suited, just because he's raising so often. Uh, <coughs> I want to annoy him a bit post-flop. So we've got some interesting people actually at these tables, and I like it. Again, we've got some aggressive play here. Uh, we get three bet here again. Um, I'm just gonna fold. Uh, my image is really aggressive, um, and I don't want you guys uh, to be uh, getting into some four bet wars and stuff and uh, floating three bets. Uh, Let's take a look at his stats. He did three bets. Not so often. Queen 
queen six. I'm gonna raise here off suit just because everybody's yeah, it's pretty needy. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying that everybody is pretty needy. Everybody is pretty aggressive. Fun, fun, fun. <coughs> ah, fun, fun, fun. When the flops come like this. Wow. <laughs> I'm seriously running good. I'm just gonna uh, bet small here. Uh, I mean, I've got the deck completely crushed. Uh, uh, we get raised by our good friend. I was hoping he is going to do this. I'm gonna call his raise, of course. <coughs> I'm gonna call him again. There's really not really a scare card. Um. So if he's bluffing, because he we know that he's aggressive, so we can uh, let him keep on bluffing. Yeah, he was not bluffing, but he got unlucky, kinda. should make more videos for grinding school and run like God. Mm, and, um, it's possible for a squeeze here but people are just gonna get annoyed with me especially this guy so I'm just not gonna do it uh, if I feel like they are going to go on tilt it's now twice that I stacked the guy here on my right uh, so Okay, that yeah, the second time he got unlucky. The first time he should have known I had to flush, and should have slowed down. He didn't. Uh, let me see how he played the queens and the eights. It's kind of weird that he didn't three bet, being so aggressive with pocket eights after a cutoff open. And the guy with the queens, just checks it down, they all check it down yeah interesting <coughs> and we've got a pot going on on table number one I hope it goes to showdown, the flush got tear and there's a pot size bet left, effectively. I hope the donkey doesn't get stacked. But apparently he is going to get stacked if he calls this. I didn't see how the action went. P please fold and keep your half stack. Oh, he does make the call, of course the other guy has the... Wow, he had the nuts on the turn and a redraw. And the <coughs> donkey paid him off. Let's just see how the guy played his draw there. It's a huge draw on the flop. Uh, here at the sky, we know that the guy three bets. Let me just comment here. I know I advocate uh, raising any two uh, when somebody limps into your big blind from the small blind, but this guy is just too short uh, to be raising there any two and uh, three four is not going to be very good. And this is the, like the second time I see this guy on table number one do this. I'm just gonna fall, of course, but uh, it's fun. This guy just open shops uh, 200 big blinds, uh, 120 big blinds uh, after a button open. I think uh, he's willing to gamble it up. Easy fold here on table number uh, three. Um, 
get a small... <laughs> a really small one. We have position. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna call him here once just to see what he does on the turn. The guy is 59, 53. He can have... Oh my god. Ah, I'm not used to the stars uh, software, so that's why I'm timing out uh, sometimes. Uh, King Jack, uh, I am going to race here. Um, it's a nice high top pair type of hand against the short stack, so if we hit a uh, king or a jack, uh, we are all in. Uh, this flop really, really s check behind again maybe we still have the best hand with king high no pocket sevens he's never falling anyway so Uh, the guy didn't see that, so I'm just gonna try to take it away and uh, don't give a free card. Uh, the king came off. Uh, uh, we're still good. So he must have been drawing for the. No, eight. Again. People like to call it ace high, apparently. So as you can see actually I'm giving up quite frequently when faced with aggression and I mean at these levels it's it's fine when because people pff, I mean it's not necessary to make this like floating then calling big bets on the turn not really knowing where you are and more than likely uh, against players who don't have a lot of imagination uh, you're gonna be like f completely owned uh, by f floating light and um, uh, maybe there is some small value to be had here I'm just gonna bet like minimum bet uh, with second pair Uh, I raised the 8 10 offsuit here in the cutoff. Uh, everybody. Um, there's one donkey, I guess, in the. We flop top pair. Um, if somebody raises me here, I insta fold. Uh, no doubt about it. Especially these two. Uh, the two on my left there. Uh, This guy raises me, it's gonna <laughs> and he does. Okay. I'm just gonna call him now. Um <laughs> I'm gonna get owned here a lot, but I think he's <laughs> And this is not a funny if he shoves it in now. Ugh. We are going to be puking. I uh, bet's nine. Uh, I'm gonna make the call here. Um, I don't mind falling. Uh, I'm just have to see it again. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And the reason why I was thinking if he really has like top pair, his bet on the turn was too weak, uh, in my opinion. Wow, did I flop the nuts again? This is fun. Uh, I'm just gonna call here. Uh, the guy is too. Is. Uh, ugh. I hate it when the board pairs. Um,
Yeah, I misplayed the hand the nine ten hand a bit, but it's. I will go over it after the session, I think, or well, we can go over it in the forums. Uh, the reason why I didn't raise and uh, then call down on the turn. Uh, blah blah. What was going on here? Uh, we can check behind here. Uh. And I also have to apologize if. Uh, my voice is a bit weird because I'm having a terrible cold. The winter is coming in. And <clears throat> of course, I'm the first one to catch something. Well, actually, I can't complain. I'm not really very often sick. Once a year. And mostly, it's just some stupid cold like now. 9-3. Uh, Kyle limps in again. Uh, 9-3 is really too bad and the guy doesn't seem like uh, capable of falling ever. 5-6 offsuit, I know it's really crappy, but this guy uh, has lost already two stacks against me. I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna actually gonna call him floating in here with bottom pair just because it's going to be uh, annoying for him. Um, He checks it. I'm gonna check this behind, and there's so many things he uh, will still check. Call me with. Uh, there we go. <coughs> and now we can go for some value. I'm not representing a lot, so I'm gonna expect to get called really light here. But he had nothing. And this is an all-in hand on table number one against the guy. Uh, I'm gonna bet uh, enough to get it all in on three streets. Okay, so I have to admit that I'm running quite good in this video. But that's how it goes sometimes, believe me, it's not always the case. Uh, ace, queen, sixes, race, race, race. And this is interesting against the guy who is half stack. We know he's a donkey. I'm just gonna call here uh, and I'm stacking off on any king, uh, queen flop. I don't want it to three bet. Um, just because uh, he's, he's only a half stack, and I'm gonna be out of position. Uh, I'm gonna be pot committed like on any C bet that I make if he raises. And I'm just gonna fold here. We'll get his stack uh, another time when we actually hit some top pair type of hands. And I set mining with the sixes. But I don't flop a set. It's impossible. Nine queens suited uh, on the button, uh, on the cutoff, uh, easy race. Uh, the guy in, it's, which is interesting, is that the guy on the button seems to be quite laggy. It's only 14 hands, 29, 29. Uh, but these are the guys that you don't want on your left. Uh, like, for instance, this hero to sky uh, type of guy who is on my left. I don't like him on my left on table number one because he's actually three betting me quite often, uh, in my opinion. And he's doing a pretty good job at it. So. Uh, we flop uh, decent uh, again on table number. Uh, after I three bet uh, his uh, button open, uh, we're going 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 to go all the way here. Okay, I hope I'm gonna make the video maybe a bit longer uh, and hope that I actually don't smash the flop like I do, it, like I am doing right now. <laughs> Again, an open ender. Um, 
It's a really crappy open ender. First of all, if the king comes, I'm not gonna get paid off. If a spade comes, I'm also not going to be happy if uh, a lot of money goes in there. So uh, it's not the best, uh, not the best flop. Uh. Pocket tens. Table number three under the gun opens. I'm not gonna three bet him. Uh, he does seem quite laggy, but. Uh, I'm not gonna 3-bet him and play pocket tens uh, in a 3-bet pot out of position, um, not knowing any, any tendencies of him. I'm surprised the 10 didn't come on the flop. Uh, he bets 150, I'm just gonna float here. Uh, Uh, he keeps on betting, and uh, it's not a small bet. Uh, <clears throat> interesting, interesting. Uh, we have no reads on him. Betting three twenty-five. It's making it quite it's big enough uh, for me to fold here. It's weak, but I mean. I don't expect this guy to double barrel there on a flop that really hits my range and he's making it really big he's which means that he has a finished hand um more than likely so my tens don't beat uh, a lot of his double barreling uh stuff there so I know sometimes I'm playing really conservative, uh, but I hate being uh, the calling station, calling down um, people. Without really knowing um, anything about them, um, which I mean, only 20 hands, it means nothing, 20 hands. Uh. Nine six suited. We've really got. Uh, I'm gonna raise it up. Um, I'm surprised nobody three bet me. Because when you look at it, if you look at it. If you look at this kind of flop, and if I have like Ace King here, uh, I'm 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 not even seabending here Ace King on this kind of flop. He was double barreling there, so he's afraid that I'm definitely three betting again here against this guy, uh, willing to get it in if he shoves it over me with the pocket queens. Uh, King Queen, uh, it's suited. Uh, I'm gonna call him. Don't feel like uh, three betting this guy. Uh, he's capable, uh, definitely, of calling me and uh, playing the hand in position. And I'm probably gonna check call uh, him down there. Uh, set mining with the pocket fives. I don't know, uh, other instructors advocate not to be calling uh, with small pocket pairs after the button raise because you're rarely gonna hit your set and you're rarely gonna get paid off. Um, ah, the card really, well, it might slow him down if he has me beat. Uh, if he bets here, uh, I'm definitely going to fold. Uh, he's potting it. 
So we just have to fold our king queen. <coughs> Uh, I raised jack nine suited. Ah, uh, uh, it's against donkey. We're just gonna raise him up and put them all in here. Oh, and he, that's just uh, unlucky. A cooler versus him. We do get called here on table number t uh, two. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna bet here, but I'm planning to bet fold, of course. Uh, if I do get raised, um, just to I want to still uh, make his draws. Uh, like let him pay for his draws. If he raises me, he has he has a better hand than me, of course, and I can easily fold. Uh, I don't like checking back and giving a free card here. Uh, there are too many crappy cards to come off. <coughs> I'm gonna check behind here. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to call me three streets with something uh, worse than me. Oh, we sucked out on the river. Ace nine, uh, we get three bets. Easy fold. From a 17 14 guy. So, as you can see again, uh, I don't think in any of my videos I'm doing anything special or out of the ordinary. And on the contrary, I'm playing, I'm playing quite conservative. Like uh, when I folded the pocket tens, uh, when I was, uh, I mean, when I'm not really sure about my hand at these stakes, um, I'm more than likely uh, I'm not gonna put in a whole lot of money. Um, if I'm putting in a lot of money, it means most of the time, well, like 95% of the time, I have it. And at these stakes, people are going to pay you off uh, just because they're curious. The money doesn't mean really a lot to them. It's only 25 an hour. Uh, and they just play really bad. Oh, the guy, the donkey rebought and donk posted, and I have Tin King suited on the butt. Make your call. Whoopie doo. And we flopped up here, decent kicker, we are all in against him. He checks it, let's make uh, I can get it in on three streets, I don't have to bet big. Unfortunately falls, let's three bet here with uh, the ace king after he tries to steal our uh, big blinds. Nothing special going on. Oh, I was wrong, he didn't. Oh, he just sat out for a while and then came back. Mm, Ace Queen, uh, after 3 bet, we're going to be out of position. Easy fold uh, on table number 4, and an easy raise on table number 2. And I know a lot of you guys at Grinder School are playing actually 25 and all, and some of you are not beating this, the, these games as easily as w instructors at this site are pretending it is. And I'm not saying it's easy to beat these stakes, but as you can, there's a there's a lot of variance, and I mean. I'm playing right now. I mean, it's not so difficult to beat these stakes. You just Play good hands and wait to hit big and get paid off. And actually, there's all through this. And I know it must be annoying when you are really playing really well and 
you don't seem to turn any profits in but keep in mind that like 10,000 hands in uh, in poker is like like nothing I mean uh, even I I didn't break even over over large s samples bec just because yeah there is some variance but l most of the time my EV line is still going is still going up although uh, my real uh, winnings are uh, are not but and that's w what makes me confident that I'm still doing the right stuff when things go bad and you have to believe that things will turn around I can't believe that this guy the 1714 guy tried to go all in with 6-7 off suit against a guy who obviously doesn't fold I mean Jiminy. I'm gonna call here just I have position on uh, two uh, people with uh, big stacks with 10-7 suited uh. <clears throat> and I'm quite confident in the post flop play I did oh my god I cannot believe this guy this is like mistakes that you should never do okay Oh wow, he squeezed, and the other guy pushed all in. I mean, I, he had to, he had to get it all in. Then <laughs> I'm just gonna fault here. The 10-7 didn't cough, catch anything. He tried to make a squeeze. Um, I'll make a note of it. Run off suits. Which essentially is not really that bad of a play, but he got kind of unlucky that the donkey uh, caught a nut type of hand. Uh, well, in his mind, uh, King Ten of of suit was, of course, not a nut type of hand, but he had to get it in uh, after the donkey shoved. Uh, well, well, pretty much shoved it all in with his six seven of suit. So he had to. Okay, so guys, if you're not beating these stakes, um, there is something wrong that you're doing. And I'm not saying it's easy. Uh, I'm just saying evaluate your game. See, post some hands uh, in the forums. Um, and try to play a, con a conservative style. I know it, it might be boring after a while, but then just add in a few more tables if you're really this bored. Uh, but I mean, okay, I have to admit I'm getting some nice hands here. Uh, but playing four tables of six max should keep you quite busy, and you can do a lot of stuff. Try to make notes. Uh, try to uh, find the donkeys. Uh, again, we're all in here. Uh, I don't I I don't like my hand here at all top pair top kicker but against this guy uh, I simply cannot uh, allow him to draw for cheap uh. Yeah well I'm just going to call here if he's bluffing I mean there's like nothing I can do I mean, just have to call it off. I checks, which makes me think he doesn't have the ace. So, but I'm still gonna put him in. Uh, of course, I'm putting him in. I mean, he's such a calling station that uh, he will call him. Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, this video has been running for quite some time now. Uh, so, what do have we learned today? I mean, first of all, 25 and all is easily beatable. Uh, second of all, play your hands in position. I think you've noticed that I really don't like playing hands out of position. Uh, and third of all, uh, wait for big hands, play big pots with big hands and uh, don't play big pots with uh, top pair type of hands uh, unless uh, you're playing like uh, against guys like Kanga45 here uh, or this other guy uh, which uh, previously uh, was sitting on table number 4 right here um, so 
I guess this was it for today. Uh, please again, if you have any questions, because there is this one hand, uh, please, uh, which I kind of misplayed where I had uh, not flopped the nut straight uh, against the net. Um, we can talk about this hand in the forums if you like. Uh, please uh, post any questions that you have. Uh, th my next video, uh, actually, I would like to go over uh, some hand histories if you guys uh, from some, I don't know, people who are playing the micro stakes uh, at uh, 25 and all, or 10 and all, or even 5 and all, 6 max, uh, doesn't matter, or 50 and all. Uh, so maybe send in, uh, PM me uh, about some hand histories, and I will uh, be gladly uh, do a video for you. Um, let's uh, unpost my blinds everywhere. Oh, and that was a misclick here. Uh, That was a misclick here on table number uh, three. I didn't want to win the race. These are all hands that we can fold if it gets raised. Ten seven offsuit. Well, let's just raise it up. Uh, the guy on the button is quite needy. I don't mind folding it, but this is our last orbit before the video finishes. Uh, pretty really drawy, drawy, drawy flop. Uh, really not a good flop actually. Um, we're gonna get called by so many hands that I'm just gonna check this behind. We have our gut shot. Uh, And we're just gonna fold here. Uh, he's really betting really small. <sighs> I'm gonna call actually, and if he checks to me, um, well, now we have showdown value. Um, if he checks to me, I'm ma planning to make a big bet and make him to fold. <laughs> now, of course, I do have showdown value. Uh, I don't think he's gonna fold a nine or a jack, so I'm just gonna check behind. If I didn't hit, uh, he had pocket eight, so he was. I guess he would still have fold. So unfortunately. Uh, anyway. And this was the East Queen was the final hand. Okay, so guys, uh, I'll see you in the forums. Thanks for watching, and bye.